Welcome back to Mrs. Leong's science class. Today we're going to be looking at um, absorbency. We're going to look and see how water absorbs into different materials, um, like solids, like paper towels, cotton balls, wax paper. We're gonna see if, a, if the material is actually absorbent, so the water actually gets soaked into that material, or if it repels the water, and if we see water actually beating on top and not being soaked into the material. So we're gonna experiment with, with a wide variety of materials. We're gonna make some predictions before we go into our experiment. Okay, these are some of the materials we're gonna test for absorbency today. We're gonna to start our experiments with the cotton ball. We're then going to move to paper towel. This is nylon fabric. It's kind of like the same fabric that your backpacks are made out of. Cellophane or plastic wrap, a cotton towel, a coffee filter, a newspaper clipping, some aluminum foil, or just aluminum, um, wax paper, construction paper, toilet paper, some writing paper, cardboard, and plastic. Again, absorbency is how well these materials will soak up a liquid. Our very first experiment today, we're going to be testing how absorbent the cotton ball is. Um, with this experiment, and if you do this experiment yourself, you might want to dye your water. I've colored mine blue just so I can see it a little better and it will help your experiment go a little bit more smoothly. So I'm going to take the cotton ball right up and I'm gonna put three drops on it. And you can see that nothing is sitting on top. The cotton ball actually completely absorbed the water. The next material to be tested is paper towel. So again, I'm going to take an eyedropper and put three drops of water on the paper towel and see what happens. You can see there's no water sitting on top. The paper towel has completely absorbed the water. Now this bright pink fabric is nylon. It's got a little bit of a slippery texture to it. Now this one, let's put three drops on and see what happens. One, two, three. And you can see that the water is kind of sitting on top. I can move it around, I can dribble it off the nylon. So it's re being repelled by the nylon, it's not being absorbed by the nylon. I could probably drip it right off the edge. The plastic wrap is the next one we're going to test. Let's put one, two, three drops on it. You could even see the water bounce up off of it and you can see the water is like rolling around on it. It's not being absorbed at all. Oh, there, it just rolled off the plastic, not being absorbed at all. So I would say the plastic has repelled it. Our cotton towel is next. This is kind of like the tea towels that you have in your house. For this one, we'll take one, two, three drops. You can see it's changed color in that spot and it's completely absorbed the water into the cotton towel. Now, some of your coffee machines at home will use these coffee filters. And some of you have used them in the past for art, so you have some experience with them. Again, I'm going to take my water and I'm gonna drop three drops on it. One, two, three. You can see it did roll around a tiny bit, but it has been completely absorbed by the coffee filter. Now it's time to test the newspaper. Now this one, we'll take our eyedropper and put three drops on it. One, two, three. Ah, this one, it sits on top slightly. You can see it's pooling a little bit, but it is being absorbed by the newspaper. More slowly than the other materials, that's for sure. 
but it is another material that's slowly absorbing the liquid. The foil or aluminum, aluminum foil, we'll test. Um, this is just simply a little baking pan. And this is the same stuff. It's a little thicker than your aluminum foil that's on a roll. But you can see that the water is being repelled by it. It's not being absorbed at all. Actually, it just can roll around on. It's not being absorbed at all. Wax paper is next. We'll put three drops on that and see what happens. One, two, three. This has a very cool effect to it. It's definitely being repelled. You can see it roll around on it, but you can also see it bubble. So this isn't being absorbed at all. I'm sure if I left it for a long period of time, some of it would be absorbed, but this one I would mark as something that repels the water. Our construction paper is next. Now the construction paper, I'm gonna hold it closer to the camera when I put my three drops on it. One, two, three. So you can see initially it kind of sits on top, but you can see the construction paper changing color slowly. So even though it's not fully absorbed right now, like you can see I can jiggle it around and move it, it is slowly being absorbed into the construction paper. It just takes a little longer, but it will absorb it. Toilet paper is next. Now we've all used toilet paper, and I'm pretty sure that you already know it's pretty absorbent because it does its job when we're in the toilet. But here we go, let's give it a little test. One, two, three, Yes, of course, it fully absorbs all the liquid very quickly. Time to test the writing paper. Now, the writing paper, I'm going to hold it a little closer when I put our three drops on it. One, two, one more, three. Now, it doesn't absorb right away. You can kind of see it sitting there a little bit, but it will slowly absorb into the paper. I don't know how many of you have accidentally spilt water in your backpack into a book and it slowly sucked up all the water. So this one, oh, there we go. You can see it's absorbing. And when it does absorb, it kind of bubbles, like the paper bubbles a little bit and buckles and starts changing shape. Cardboard is next. Now this cardboard has a slight little finish on it. We'll put three little drops on it. One two, three, and of course right away you can see it on top. It looks like it's being repelled, but it slowly is changing the color of the cardboard and slowly, slowly being absorbed. And again, if you've ever left a box outside in the rain, you'll know eventually it will absorb all the water, but right now you can see a fair bit is on top. You can see the color slowly changing, but eventually it'll all be absorbed. Plastic is the last item that we're going to test. And this is a plastic Ziploc bag. We're all familiar with these. One, two, three drops. You can see there's no absorbency. Woo, you have no absorbency whatsoever. In fact, this would be a very fun thing to play with because the water wants to run all over the place. No absorbency there. Whoop, there it goes. And those were our experiments for today. So just to review, if something absorbs, it's being brought into the fabric, it's soaking up the liquid. If something is being repelled, then it's being pushed away, it's not being absorbed at all. And again, some materials absorb things more slowly than other materials. Like the toilet paper was super fast, and again, the cardboard was super slow. So it depends on the material that is absorbing water.